Julia Gisela has 14.8 million followers on TikTok, 13.4 million subscribers on YouTube, and her videos get a couple million views on average. In other words, she's doing a lot better than you are. But why? Allow me to explain. We're going to play a game, and if you want, you can literally get out a notepad and pen for this. I'm going to play you one of her videos, and you're going to note down every time she does something to boost audience retention. Audience retention refers to the ability of a content creator to keep their audience engaged and interested in their content for an extended period of time. In other words, it's a measure of how long viewers are willing to watch a video before losing interest and scrolling away. This is one of the main pieces of data that the algorithm uses to figure out if your content is good, and if it should recommend it to more people. And Julia Gisela does this masterfully. So, I'm going to play this video for you once. Note down all the techniques you spot, and then I'll play it through again and show you just how much she's doing to boost audience retention in just this one short clip. Ready? Okay, pause, that's it, that's the end of the video. Now I have a question for you. Does the number of things you noted down match the number on screen? Because if it doesn't, keep watching. Okay, slightly less edited portion of the video now, because I'm gonna go through this bit by bits. And every single time that I see something that Julia has done to keep you engaged, I am going to pause and we're gonna talk about it, so. And that is an instant pause right away. So what she's doing here is she is setting up payoff. So basically, if you're gonna invest your time in watching a reel, you want to know that your time is gonna be well spent and that there's going to be some kind of big reveal, excitement, funny joke, something happening at the end that you're looking forward to. And straight away when she shows the sketch, and she does this in a lot of her videos, she will just show a fully drawn sketch at the start which is ready to be filled in and it already looks good so you know that the result is going to be good and with here you can see she's doing this challenge where you can already see that she's drawn two portions of the image and they look good already so already your mind is like aha this looks like this is going to be a good video and you are primed to continue watching Okay, that is a second pause. Hang on, let me go back again. So number two, what she has done here is she is doing something that is popular and we can take two strikes for this. So here at the start, we see that she is doing something popular at the moment, not at the moment now, but at the time that the video was made. Wednesday was very popular. People were absolutely ready to be consuming more and more Wednesday content. So she's doing something that is trending, that people are going to be invested in at the time. People are obsessed with Wednesday at the time that it came out. And then straight away, she's got you see at the bottom she's got Tim Burton that's something else that's popular but she's doing anime and we all know that anime is popular anime is popular anime art style is popular everything so what are we on now that's three things and then four things you'll see at the top she's got this cockroach that she's edited into the video why has she done that it's because people will notice that there's a little cockroach in this video and they'll feel proud of themselves to go to the comment section and say oh my god guys i noticed that she edited a little cockroach in the video so they are going to watch the video they're going to go into the comments they're going to engage with the video because they want to tell everyone look at me guys i'm so observant i saw a tiny little edit in the video okay another pause here she is looking pretty all right that's it that's one of the things that julia does if you have seen the thumbnails for her videos literally all of her thumbnails for her videos i was showing you guys earlier just is a picture of her face in this wig it's no secret why a lot of the celebrities in this world who are famous are good looking they're famous partially because they're good looking and people want to stare at their faces and it's the exact same thing for julia here now not everyone can obviously utilize this in their videos 
and I personally don't because I'm going into a career in the future where I do not want my face to be on camera so if forever, for whatever reason you can't do this this is fine but if you are willing to appear alongside your content and you're willing to put on some makeup make yourself look presentable and good it can help with the engagement of your content because let's be honest we live in a very shallow world and also the another thing that this does which is good is she's showing her face so you're thinking aha I recognize this girl when you see her next videos you'll go oh it's this girl again her last video was good I'll keep watching this one as well you might be more likely to follow if you keep seeing her face popping up on your for you page again and again okay let's keep playing but first so another pause she is again building up payoff so she'll you'll notice that she has these little uh bits of text on the screen throughout the video for you to read and we've got bus but first dot 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 with an ellipsis but first what you're thinking she kind of tells this narrative throughout her videos with the text and every single time that she does this she kind of leaves the narrative half finished so you're waiting to see okay but first what what does the next piece of text say and you see we've still got this uh cockroach on the screen make sure you notice it okay fixing that sketch um, another thing I'm going to point out again is you might be noticing there are a lot of jump cuts in this video. Jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. She does not let the viewer get bored. She is just changing the scene every two seconds. So satisfying. Feels illegal. She's using very like emotive um, language in these captions. And she's not making bland captions, you'll notice. So now what we're seeing... Uh, yeah this is so much harder than expected again she's doing this kind of emotional narrative like i worked so hard on this guys just keep waiting and waiting because i worked so hard on this you will definitely want to see the payoff more jump cuts uh, i was just gonna point something out okay so here we go so this is something that she does as well so she's not showing the entire drawing she's not showing the entire finished product right away there's no way that you can look at uh, this video and get any idea of what the finished outcome is going to look like until the end so you have to stay until the end can you save this video for me so this is a direct call for action now obviously the algorithm is not just measuring your engagement but also if people are saving the video if they're sending it to their friends if they're liking it if they're comment on it commenting on it if people are spending a lot of time in the app uh, on your video in order to engage with it then the algorithm is a lot more likely to promote it and she is just directly asking for the engagement it always helps so much rate this from 1 to 47 you see that again the call for engagement she wants you to go to the comments open the comments type in a number press enter that's what she wants you to do that is going to boost her video in the algorithm again final part in 24 hours makes you want to follow doesn't it so you don't miss it uh and then you can see i'll i'll go back she is gonna show you this and that's it it's gone so the amount of time that she showed you the end result for blink and you might miss it if you're not paying too much attention she only shows it on screen for about two to three seconds so if you miss it then that's it you got to go all the way back to the start of the video and watch it all again in order to see the ending and that is going to mean that your engagement with this content is really really high because you've watched it twice the way through and that is not everything that julia does i have uh skipped a couple things so first of all obviously she is using a trending audio which i had to mute for copyright on this video but using trending sounds is going to help you a lot because it's going to get your video to, uh, in front of more people because the algorithm is more likely to recommend it because that sound is trending and then people are going to enjoy the sound because it's trending and they're going to want to listen along and sing along because they're like oh i know this song they want to listen to it right and another thing she does is she has a lot of sound effects in her video so it's not just visually engaging with all the jump cuts but she also often uh, records the sounds of the tools that she's using so she will record the sound of the pens and the markers scraping against the paper and so that's keeping the video interesting in an audio way as well 
And then finally, you'll notice that a lot of her videos, she is responding to a comment and that is going to make you more likely to engage and comment because you know that she replies to the comments and you might get a video made in response to your comment. And then obviously, finally, she does make good art as well. So all in all, that is everything. And that is a lot that she is packing into just this one clip. And this clip is how many seconds long? This clip is 44 seconds long. So I hope you guys found this video useful and I hope you learned some things which you can try and apply. Maybe not all of them, but just some of them to your content to see if it gets more engagement and better views. So I really hope that this helps you guys. And if you appreciate what I have done breaking down this video for you, then I would appreciate a follow and there are gonna be more tutorials on how to make art and how to succeed on social media and some other fun character challenges and things on the way. So. If you'd like to see more of that, then please subscribe and have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.